one item which sometimes comes up under trade discounts and you can watch my video for trade discounts if you like before you watch this video is this concept of a single equivalent rate of discount now in the trade discount video what i talked about was a net price factor which basically is how much you pay for each dollar of purchasing some product after the discounts that you get and in that particular example so what we had was we had an example for this net price factor that let's say we had for each dollar that we paid after our discounts let's say our actual net price factor for the calculation was 0711 so for each dollar we basically paid around 70 cents now where did this come from so when you watch the trade discount video what i ended up doing was i had an example where i had a item which was discounted and it had three discounts so the item was for 74.99 dollars and it was less 18% which was your first discount 10% which was your second discount and 5% which was your third discount so this became our discount series and the net price factor the formula for this particular example that we have was 1 minus discount number 1 multiplied by 1 minus discount number 2 and multiplied by one minus discount number three so net price factor we always multiply these factors together until we complete all our discounts and in this case we have three of them and when we substituted these amounts of and notice i am changing the percent to decimal when we do that and we calculate this amount so this was 0 0.1 for 10 percent this came out to be 0 0.7011 now often we don't like to talk about a discount series so what someone may say is well instead of you telling me that i have a discount of 18 percent and 10 percent and five percent and then i have to do all of this junk to complete it someone might say well what is just a single rate like what is this equivalent to equivalent means equal and rate means it's what's the percent that you would have that would basically capture this discount series so instead of saying a discount series what is just one rate that we can find instead of that well it turns out if you have the net price factor this right here so this would means that for every one dollar we actually pay 0 0.7011 and again don't round this although it's money that's how much we actually pay then to find the single rate so if you want to find the single equivalent rate then all you do is you take the dollar and you subtract your net price factor and that will give you exactly what the rate is and if you want it as a percent you multiply it by 100% so for example in this case our single equivalent rate would be 1 minus 0 0.7011 and we can find out what that is so 1 minus 0 0.7011 which is 29.89 29.89 that is your single rate now this is a single rate as a decimal so if you multiply this by 100 percent that will give you 29.89 percent and what this is saying is that instead of you telling me that i have this discount series of 18 percent 10 percent 5 percent 
then all I have to say really it is your list price less 29.89% and that is the same thing as saying you have this list price less 18%, 10%, 5%. These are equivalent. So that is your single rate that you have. And it is equivalent to doing this discount series. And this is how you find it always. One minus the net price factor. All right. So I hope you find this useful because I know that this is sometimes something that comes up for business students studying trade discounts. Thank you for watching.